It is Monday. Y'all know what that means. Market Monday here on the channel. Where we're back again going over the best ways to make stubs right here, right now. And it will be the show 22. A brand new featured program coming to Diamond Dynasty this week. Definitely provides some solid stub making opportunities. Let's take a look at the market. Hit on a couple cards that I'm liking flipping right now. And talk about how we can make some stubs coming up off this brand new featured program. Let's go ahead. Let's hop into it. Looking at the live series market right now, we actually see it being the highest it's been all year long. Right now, it is the most expensive time to complete the Randy Johnson collection. We definitely could expect it to go down some gotten another stub sell on playstation going on right now after one on xbox before that one on playstation right before that so the stub sells definitely keeping the market pretty inflated right now we could see that change at some point but as of right now with how frequently we're getting stub sales definitely seems like there is some intention to keep the live series market high through that and really encourage those stub sales right there so not sure if we're going to be getting a 90 plus live series pack soon and that's really the only thing that's going to drive down the live series market in a significant way so between the stub sales and just again as the game goes on we're going to have general inflation in the market as more and more people get stubs just through the nature of playing the game the stubs they get from every game investing quick selling generating subs off those roster updates gonna increase the cost of a lot of these live series cards we generally see these 90 pluses increase throughout the summer and again a 90 plus pack could be coming at some point but i'm not expecting it soon possibly in the next major or 30 team featured program but that may not be until the end of july early august somewhere around those lines so could be some time away still from a 90 plus live series pack and until that time definitely expect these cars to chill where they are maybe even climb up a little bit from where they're at so if you're looking to knock out live series collections get a lot of people asking me should i hold off on buying trout judge j ram otani whoever in my opinion definitely go ahead and just pull the trigger on those guys otherwise it's possibly going to be waiting a much longer time to get those cards if you're waiting for them to drop down in price well you're going to be waiting forever because they're always going to be forever cheaper in the future i will say though the george brett collection has gotten a lot cheaper it has dropped in price quite significantly over the last week or so we're getting new cards into the game we're getting two new world series rewards today plus five new cards as bosses in the new feature program plus the legends and flashbacks to go along with that so george brett definitely becoming a lot 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 more affordable as time goes on as we expected so if you wanted to hold out for brett a little bit would definitely see him become a lot cheaper this week and we get a lot of nice cards that are readily obtainable to help you out with that george brett collection also real quick in terms of these brand new takashi cards that we got we do see them bottoming out ever so slightly quick so on these 10,000 subs don't think they're gonna quite get there we could see this takashi collection expanded at some point and i think we would see these cards especially the base around the Gagne, the smith and the pudge go up in price don't expect us to get these uh, as a free pack in the near future it is definitely possible but again i don't necessarily expect that happening we have feller and soriano up here at 77,000 subs apiece they've been dropping ever so slightly so they could continue to drop over the next couple of days but if you're looking to pick these guys up just to be safe have those in your collection be ready for any future takashi collections i don't hate coming in here and getting these guys around that 13,000 stub mark especially the base round not a whole lot more room for those guys to drop rare round maybe we hold off on a little bit on that at 77k but these base rounds at 13 not too bad at all especially considering if we don't get this pack again in the future for some time with how many other packs we have that could possibly be coming out and released in other program event br world series whatever reward paths real quick as well i want to hit on some flipping if y'all saw my video from yesterday we did a one hour flipping challenge made a hundred thousand stubs in an hour and i was doing a lot of this gold equipment right here man this stuff is moving really really nicely it moves quick high volume decent margins on these as well you're trying to come in and get some flipping done definitely take a look at dabbling in some of gold equipment here really like some of the things that are happening i was making a lot of stubs off of it you need to get some flipping done take a look over there 
Just be smart with it. Stay on top of the orders. You should do pretty good overall. Now, in terms of new content coming out, well, obviously, we have the new ranked seasons, new World Series, award series, flashback, and second half Heroes Legends. We know those are Javi Baez and Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Then we have the new headliner set 26 and our sizzling summer program. In terms of ranked seasons, not going to be a whole lot of market impact there on that especially with those world series rewind packs already showing up our previous world series rewards they're not going to say too terribly expensive at the end of the day now if you're someone absolutely insane at the game you can grind out that ranked seasons very quickly here in this first week and either do the innings or get to that 900 rating you can definitely make a pretty penny selling off those new world series rewards but outside of that not a whole lot of market impact happening there. Same with our headliner. Big thing we want to talk about is our sizzling summer program. New feature program has a certain amount of bosses. We know that to be five and classic flashbacks to go along with that as well. Possibly five, maybe even more than that. So how can we capitalize on this new program to make stubs? There's a couple avenues we can go about here to capitalize on this and really cash in in a big way. First thing out the gate with this new program, we definitely expect a little bit of a market drop. One, we're probably going to get a conquest map day one. I would assume so at least. That's going to have our ball impacts, five bundle, 10 bundle, maybe even. And hitting all those free packs are going to cause the live series market to dip down ever so slightly outside of our 90 plus live series diamonds. We're talking more of our golds and silvers. Those are going to be trending downwards as people rip through a lot of new packs. That presents us with the opportunity to come in. And if we have our roster update investments, we know some guys that we're looking at. We can then come in there and buy up some of those guys at a little bit more of a reduced price, closer to that quick sell value. And then as we get into the next week, the hype of those rises, we can sell off on the hype or we can hold and see if they get a big upgrade when the next roster update hits a week from friday so that is my first plan out the gate is between packs within the program itself we know we're gonna get some packs early on in there headliners ball ins standard packs that's just gonna be in our normal program path plus we're getting a new event to go along with that that is gonna feature us show packs ball and packs etc and the conquest as the cherry on top all that is going to be influxing a ton of packs into the marketplace and dropping the marketplace on those live series golds overall so maybe i'm looking to invest in adolis garcia will smith sandy alcantara zach wheeler you can see 2500 2k 2418 maybe adolis goes down to two smith down to 18 Andy down to, you know, 2,000 as well. Wheeler down to 1,600. Even those little dips can make a big impact on how many subs we can make. So keep an eye on those guys. Have your roster update investments ready to go Friday. Have them favorited on the Marketplace app so you can have them just there on your watch list. Go through, cash in on those bad boys. Hopefully getting them at a reduced rate to make a ton of subs when that next roster update hits. Also as well, if you're free on Thursday, grinding out the program quickly can be extremely extremely profitable we come in here and we take a look let's just say at this first future star pack we get here the al lease pack we'll look at gunner henderson here we'll take a look at his marketplace we can see that first day i'm covering up the peak of that line but that 65,999, 66,000 stubs for gunner henderson on day one we continue down to the nl least guy like michael harris here even a little bit more expensive 245k at that top end even on the low end of the sell now price north of a hundred thousand stubs so you can see people were able to get through this future of the franchise program quickly were able to cash in and sell off these bosses for a way 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 premium price come back in buy them in a week or so when they're closer down to that quick sell value that opportunity presents itself again on thursday with the brand new program maybe you're off this weekend for the fourth of july holiday get in there grind out that program do it through road to the show have some march to october's preloaded knock out your conquest your collection your exchange sell that boss and you could be looking at a six figure payout in stubs for getting that boss book of course not everybody has the time and ability to do that but if you have that opportunity it definitely can be super super profitable to come in and do that i fully recommend it in the past it's been one of my favorite stub making methods just coming through completing the program asap if y'all want a video on how i plan to go about completing the program asap ahead of time i fully expect to knock out this one on thursday very very quickly i got a couple of things that i'm working on that hopefully will allow me 
to get it done extremely quick if y'all want me to let y'all know what i'll be doing to make a video on that definitely let me know down in the comment section below finally we do have an off chance that we get a flash sell this thursday or friday as well most likely thursday with it being a holiday weekend but at this this time i do see it to be unlikely i would say overall we are overdue for a flash sale we got them pretty consistently once a month and it will be the show 21 have only gotten one flash sale so far here and it will be the show 22 so maybe we get surprised and get the flash show going on with the program day as well it seems more likely at this point that we'll be waiting on that a little bit longer maybe something around the all-star break maybe instead we get a pack sell to go along with the new program instead of a flash show where they make packs 30 to 50 percent off if that happens that'll have an in massive market impact we'll have to do another video on that if it happens but definitely keep your eye out thursday in case anything happens other than that that is all i got for today we don't have a ton to work off of other than that new program coming where we're gonna be ready to capitalize on hopefully a slightly deflated market come in grind that out quickly sell those bosses cash in on a ton of subs y'all got any questions about the marketplace what you should be doing definitely feel free to hit me up down in the comment section below or swing by our twitch live stream twitch.tv slash ansel armstrong i'm definitely way more capable of answering your questions over there in those live stream formats where i can keep up with chat a lot better than i can on the youtube comments so definitely hit me up over there as always y'all enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're closing in on 30,000 and subscribers until next time i'll catch y'all around